Hi guys, in today's video we are going to see how you can switch screens between the home screen and the sign in screen. Basically if the user is authenticated then we will show the home screen. When the user is not authenticated we will show the sign in screen. So before moving on to the coding part first I would like to show how I will achieve this. Okay. So basically I will use the stream subscription method to subscribe the auth state changes function which is, pre which is present inside the firebase auth class. This function will return the stream of user and this stream user will get the live changes of the auth state and when the user is authenticated this stream user will return the user and when the user is not authenticated this stream function that is the auth state changes function will return the user but it is null so based on that if the user is null we will show the authentication widget that is the sign in screen and when the user is present that is it is not null we will show the home screen so this is the technique we will use we will subscribe the auth stream changes and that auth stream changes will return the live response that is the live changes happening inside the firebase and when the user is authenticated, this function will return the user, which is not null. And when the user is not authenticated, this stream function, that is auth state changes function, will return the user, but it will be null. And we will check that, check whether the user is null. And based on that, we will show the screens. So this is the procedure we will do in this video. Okay. So let's move into the coding part. Okay, so let's move into the coding part of this video. So before moving on to the coding part, I would like to tell you that wherever you want to implement this uh, procedure or this auth state changes using stream builder, you can do this, but it is beneficial if you use this method inside the root widget because wherever the user is currently in and from there he signs out or he clears the catch, then it will send directly to the sign in screen. So it will be beneficial if you use this inside the root widget. That's why I'm using so that's why I am using this inside my app widget. That is my app widget, and it returns the material app. And inside this material app home widget, I will return the here currently it is sign in widget. So I will use stream builder instead this. So I, what I will do, I will call stream builder, and then the type of this stream builder should be the user and i you can if you remember i have already told you that the user may be null so i will use question mark as well and then this stream builder will provide the builder for us and the builder will give us the context and then it will provide the snapshot of the user so we will use this snapshot to check whether the user is null or it is in the progress or user is null or user is authenticated we will use this snapshot to check and again and now it will i will provide the stream of this stream builder and the stream should be the auth state changes function and it is inside the firebase auth firebase auth class i have already told you about this so i will use firebase auth dot instance and then the there is a function auth state changes i will call this and this auth state changes will return the stream of the user and this stream user will return the live response of the user authentication or deauthentication. So now we will use this live response to check. Uh, so this live response will basically come inside the snapshot and we will use this snapshot to check whether the user is authenticated or a uh, user is not authenticated. And when the user is not authenticated, the snapshot should be null. And when the user is authenticated, the snapshot should has the data. Okay. So now we can move further. So now come inside the builder function and first of all we will check if snapshot dot okay snapshot dot has data that is if has if it has data that is the user is authenticated then we will simply return the home screen okay now if the snapshot dot has error that is the fetching user from the firebase uh, end with the error then we will also need to check that because when they uh, when you open the app and the user is not uh, 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 provided the internet functionality and the firebase is now uh, uh, blocked your uh, application to run then there may be an error must be happen so we will check these error so that's why we will use snapshot dot has error 
and when it has error we will simply return the scaffold and then inside this scaffold there is a body property and we will use the center and uh, center widget and the child of a center widget should be the text and the text uh, should be the snapshot dot error dot to string okay it will give the visual or description of the error what happened uh, inside the firebase or why it is not uh, getting the user from the firebase so it will give the description of the error that's why i used snapshot dot error dot to string and then if the user has data we have showed the screen home screen if the user if the snapshot is uh, got the error that is uh, it is um, it got uh, it got error while fetching the firebase user then it we will show the text and when the these two not happen we will show simply the sign in screen because the snapshot is now empty and when it is empty we will show the sign in screen so this is the procedure totally happened so currently you can see there is a sign in screen because i am not signed in currently so what i will do i will refresh it so now we can check whether it is working or not so when i click on continue with google so it will create the account so i have already cre created the video on how to create account with google if you not watch this you can watch this from i button or from the description so this come inside this whole video come inside the firebase plus flutter course that i am creating so if you want to be the developer backend plus frontend using the firebase then you can watch the whole playlist uh, and uh, there is all the videos that will happen in the future or in the past so so you must watch this video and i will also provide the link of the playlist inside the description as well so when i click on this account it will first uh, sign in for me and then it will switch to the home screen so let's check whether it is working or not so wait for a second and now i think it is completed and uh, we can move to the home screen and uh, wait for it and now we are in the home screen so you can see account creation successful and i can hit continue and now we are in the home screen so basically inside the home screen dot dot file i have created a scaffold and then a center widget with the elevated button so i will also create the app bar and the app bar should be there app bar widget and inside this app bar widget i will provide the title and the title should be text home screen okay so basically i created this button to show when i sign out from the from the application i will directly switch to the sign in widget so inside the elevated button on pressed method i will use firebase auth dot instance dot sign out okay this function so when i click on so let's save first so when i click on sign out uh, button it will take me to the sign in screen so we need i uh, so again i need to authenticate so let's check whether it is working or not so when i click on sign out button now you can see i am in the sign in screen so basically when i clicked on sign out widget it it now fires this now it it is come inside the stream builder because it is the stream it will provide the live response current then it will check whether it is has data or not so currently i signed out that why it is not happening it doesn't have error and then it will return the sign in uh, widget sign in screen i can say so in this way it will open so let's check again so when i click on continue with google and it will sign in and then take me to the home screen that is here because snapshot dot has data is happening okay so that is because snapshot dot has data is not true here we will get our home screen and when i click on sign out so now this is not going to happen and we will come inside the sign in screen here it is and because snapshot dot has doesn't have the data dot has data is false that's why we are getting sign in screen so in this way you can implement the authentication changes inside the flutter application with firebase that is when the user is authenticated you can show the home screen and when the user is not authenticated you can show the sign in screen so in the next video we are going to see how we can implement how we can authenticate user using phone phone authentication that is the otp authentication so 
till then bye bye and make sure you subscribe this channel and also hit the like button so thanks for watching we can see you in the next video